Every Pokemon fan has some parts of the franchise that they absolutely love over everything else. One of my favorite things about Pokemon is the Eevee Evolution line. Eevee and its evolutions have been a staple in my teams throughout the 20 plus years that I've played Pokemon. Today, I'm going to rank these Eevee evolutions from my least favorite to my most favorite. This list will be based on my experiences with each evolution from the games, as well as with the toys and anime. So, let's get started. So, number 8 on the list is Glaceon. I do like Glaceon a lot. I like his light blue color and sleek, streamlined design. I mean, take a look at this. It's nice, right? Being an ice type also gave me a chance to use a type that I don't normally use. Glaceon's position in this list is not because of the experience that I've had with him, but rather the lack of experience. I've used Eevee Evolutions in almost all of my playthroughs of any Pokemon game, but because the Ice Rock is in places you get to really late in the game, Glaceon isn't really a Pokemon I can use until the very end, which is a deal breaker for me. Number 7 on the list is Leafeon. Leafeon is a great, solid physical attacker, which is uh, pretty unique within the Eevee Evolutions. If I had things my way, we would have had Leafeon in the first generation evolving with a Leaf Stone. However, Leafeon is a lot like Glaceon. Like Glaceon, because I could not get an Eevee and Diamond and Pearl before the post game, I couldn't really use them in my playthrough. However, that changed in Platinum because you do get an Eevee early, and you can evolve in the turn of Forest. And that gives Leafeon the edge on my list. Number 6 on my list is Jolteon. Since the beginning, Jolteon has always been one of my favorite competitive Pokemon. With a high special attack and speed, my Jolteon strategy was simple. Hit fast and hit hard. Not only that, but Jolteon is extremely versatile too. I could put the same Jolteon into a rain team, a double battle team that utilizes lightning rod Pokemon, and any team that needs an electric sweeper. All at a very low cost, very little change. Heart scale at most. That is especially cool since I don't have a lot of time to train new Pokemon these days than I did when I was a kid. And plus, he's spiky. Number 5 on my list is Vaporeon. The Bubble Jet Pokemon was the first Eevee evolution that I used in a team for a Pokemon Yellow playthrough. Since then, Vaporeon has always been one of the more reliable water types in my teams, and I occasionally use him in my Battle Tower teams as well. Getting Scald only made Vaporeon better. My favorite part about Vaporeon, though, is the look. Vaporeon is pretty much what a canine mermaid would look like. The fins and the tail look awesome in my opinion, and Vaporeon toys always look cool. Check these out. Here's one with the tail fully extended, and look at the, the ridge, the fins, and the sail. And then here's another one with the tail curled up. And they look cool. And they must be popular as well. Whenever I see new stuff for the Eevee Evolution line, Vaporeon is always missing and, need, and needs to be hunted down. A little frustrating at first, but awesome when I finally find one to complete the set. Number 4 is the Gen 6 Eevee Evolution, Sylveon. While I did use Sylveon in my Pokemon Y playthrough, I grew more attached to Sylveon for other reasons. So funny story, my brother and I always made fun of the fact that you mostly feed Pokemon cake and candy, instead of real food, especially in X and Y. We figured Pokemon who had trainers would be a lot smaller than other Pokemon, since those things don't really have a lot of nutrition and are mostly sugar. This led to the Nature Reserve, where a small Sylveon that we know would see much larger Sylveon roaming around. I'm talking about Sylveon that stand about 8 feet tall. And then that Sylveon would use his feelers to just reach out and grab a full-grown Taros out of the air for dinner. It's funny and kind of scary. After seeing that, you definitely look at Sylveon with respect. The other reason why I grew more attached to Sylveon was because of the anime. The Pokemon X and Y anime was a lot more interesting to me than other seasons. And watching Serena's Eevee grow into a Sylveon and become more confident made me feel more invested in the Pokemon and in the anime as well. Stories like this are the reason why Sylveon is high on this list. This also goes for the top three coming up. Number three is Espeon. I like Espeon for a lot of the same reasons why I like Jolteon. 
This is another Pokemon with high speed and high special attack. Some good offensive moves like Psychic, Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam, and a fantastic ability in Magic Bounce. Whenever I need a good offensive Psychic type, Espeon is definitely my pick. Now, Espeon does have a very important edge over Jolteon. Espeon was one of the starter Pokemon in Pokemon Coliseum. A lot of people have different feelings when it comes to starter Pokemon, but for me, I do use the starters and I stick with them for the entire game. Espeon really grew on me from that first battle where we annihilated Rider Willy to that last battle where we cleared our name back at the outpost where it all started. There was not a moment in the game where Espeon wasn't with me, and every part of the game was another adventure together. By the end, Espeon felt like a good friend, and it's hard to beat that. Number 2 is Flareon. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, then you'd know that Flareon would be very high in my list. If you're not familiar with this channel, then it's because he's one of the mascots for the toy box. Just saying it straight out. Doing a YouTube channel to share different toys with you guys is something that I wanted to do for a really long time, but there was always some excuse to put it off. When I finally did it, I wasn't sure where to start, and I took it one step at a time. I needed a mascot. And when I tied a piece of blue yarn into a headband for my Flareon plush, and put it next to a throw Poke doll, they weren't just a couple of plushes anymore. They were Throbert and Flareon, or the clowns as they are affectionately called in this household. And it was the first time that this channel was real to me, and not just an idea anymore. We're very close to video number 100 for the toy box, and Flareon has been present in nearly every single one. While coming up with this video, I honestly thought that Flareon would be number one, because of this. But when it came down to it, one more EV evolution just had the edge. And now we get to number one, my absolute favorite EV evolution, and that's Umbreon. There's really no better way to say it. There have been so many times in playthroughs, competitive battles, battle tower, chateau, tree, you name it, where I thought it was over, that we would lose, but no, Umbreon's still up and we can still win. Over the years of countless playthroughs and battles, Umbreon has been my go-to Pokemon, the one that I know I can count on. He has been in several teams for my playthroughs, and he was a starter for me in both Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Umbreon is also one of the few Pokemon that I've raised that was not a straight up sweeper, and quite the opposite really, with really good defenses. If I had to name one Umbreon battle to remember, I remember that first battle with Grievel in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It was late at night and I had gone through most of Citadark Isle. I caught Lugia, went through all the bosses, who had multiple Shadow Pokemon, and now I am at Grievel, who brought out Shadow Pokemon right off the bat. It was six Shadow Pokemon throwing Shadow Bolt, Shadow Flame, Shadow this, Shadow that, and it's Mom. My team was underleveled. I had to play in the dorms, so I didn't get a lot of time, so there was no grind for this game. It was one of the few times where I used items to keep my Pokemon in the fight. There was a lot of uncertainty, but Umbreon, my starter, was still there. Every time. It didn't matter what Shadow Doodad hit, he was still there. And we caught all six. Every single one. And I couldn't believe it. I'll admit that when I play games, I really get into it. Especially if it's a good game. So this was all real to me. The partnership was real. It was as if Umbreon would never give up. Not on the battle and not on me. Even if I made mistakes, we would not give up and we'd overcome. I played Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness during an uncertain time in my life. Umbreon staying up reinforced something that I hold dear in both my work and my personal life. It is never truly over unless you give up. And if you get knocked down, you only truly lose if you stay down. And I hope that if you get one thing from this video, or from me, it's that. And that's why Umbreon is my number one undisputed favorite Eevee evolution and favorite Pokemon. Well, there it is, my ranking of the Eevee evolutions from my least favorite to my most favorite. So what do you guys think? Was this the list you were expecting, or were there surprises? I know my list is similar to many people's lists, but also drastically different in some ways, and either way, it's totally fine. 
How would you rank the EV evolutions? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and as always, rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.